story time. What's going on? It's me, Desha Bia, your host. So I feel like telling a story tonight. As you guys know, for those of you who don't, when I tell a story, people normally send me names and dates and then I'll create something. But this time I'm going to just go off the top of my head from something that I see. So here goes. The tracks running through town still the same. Life is full of change. There's a few things that won't ever change. The sun's gonna rise, it's gonna set. The tide's gonna come in, it's gonna go out. And these tracks running through Lucasville, they ain't gonna never change. Truth be told, the train stopped coming down here a few years ago. Me, myself, I have been back to town for 22 years. But Ma always kept me posted on what was going on, on small time life. Well, Ma's gone now. I had to come back, lay my mom on the wrist, face the ghost that lives in the house. That sent me running in hot tether 22 years ago. I guess I'm starting at the end of the story instead of the beginning of the story. So how far back would you like me to go? To the beginning? That might be too much details for you. How about to the night my life changed? Yeah. Let's go back to that night. I was 16 years old and it was the eve of my 17th birthday. Me, Billy Ray, Sissy, Jessica had all went out. Wasn't much to do in a small town. You know, all we do is hang out at the skating rink or at the local Dairy Queen. Dairy Queen had a new owner and he really didn't like the kids hanging out like that. So, we was just hanging out a little bit and Sissy had got some beer from her dad's house. Everybody know he was the alcoholic of the town, but he still went to work. He was really a good man. Just couldn't beat it. That night we're driving around. getting ready to cross over the railroad tracks when an engine gets stuck. He had been telling Billy Ray that he needed to get this car fixed. He would not listen. He's always tinkering on it himself, trying to fix it, knowing he didn't know what he was doing. He probably messed up more than he ever fixed. But it was his car, his thing to do, his first car, and his first love. Billy Ray loved this car. 1974 Buick Mercedes. Ugly little car that you would ever see, but it was his baby. <laughs> we always made jokes about Billy Ray and his car, but to tell you the truth, if he didn't have that car, we would be walking everywhere we needed to go because he was the only one that had a car. Considering that he had just turned 18 this past summer, he had saved up his money. I'm working at Big Bad Grocery Store. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't want to give you too much details with those types of things. So the engine stalls. And we still have the music loud. But I can start feeling the vibration and I'm like, Bill Ray, we got to get out the car got to get out the car. I feel like a train that's coming. Can't you feel that? And he said, girl, ain't no train coming. Just a couple more minutes. It'll, if she's going to turn over, she's going to catch in a minute. So I said, well, pop the trunk. I'll open it for you. I pop the hood. I'll open it for you. And so he pops the hood and I get out to open it and I can see the lights from the train coming. I said, Billy Ray, you got to get out the car. Come on. Jessica, sissy, 
Jessica had fallen asleep in the back and Sissy was so drunk she couldn't even probably put a thought together. She was just giggling about nothing because nothing was funny and Billy Ray is steady trying to turn the car. So I run over to the door. The train is coming. He's blowing his horn now and I run over to the door. Open the door. Billy Ray, get out the car. I don't know why Billy Ray is not listening to me. Billy Ray, get out the car. He said, listen, it caught a little bit. I said, don't you see the train coming? Billy Ray, get out of the damn car. Billy Ray is not listening to me. So I grab Sissy and I start to pull her. And I'm screaming, Jessica, Jessica, wake up. I'm pulling Sissy. And I know I won't be able to get all of them in the same time. And I pull Sissy and she falls. And I fall backwards, but I'm off the tracks. But when she falls, her leg is still caught on the track. And then I just hear a crunch because the train hits the car. Just as Billy Ray started it. And it doesn't stop. It runs over Sissy's leg. She screams. And then everything just goes quiet. I need a moment. <laughs> By this point, I'm screaming. Billy Ray, Jessica. Sissy's not moving. This is worse than any nightmare I've ever had. Oh my God. I look, Billy Ray's car is about a half a mile down the, on the side of the tracks. And you can't even recognize it as the same car anymore. It's crumpled up like a can. Like a soda can. I run over to the car to try to see if I can find Billy Ray or maybe if they've been thrown out or something, Billy Ray or Sissy, but I won't describe for you what I saw. I'll save that nightmare for myself since I was the one that couldn't save them. Looks like the train had stopped a little bit down. And I hear sirens. And I'm just sitting there and I'm just screaming and screaming and screaming. I can't believe any of this has happened. And I pass out. When I wake up, I'm at the hospital. Let me know if you guys want a part two for story time. Thank you. I'm your girl, Desharia. Love y'all. Talk to you soon.